So if you've got an idle problem, now I'm not talking about all those jobs you haven't done, those things you haven't got around to, I'm talking about your engine. And when it's ticking over, are you noticing the RPMs rising and falling? It's unable to maintain a steady idle. Well, in this video, we're just gonna discuss what's happening as the engine's idling. We're gonna look at some of the typical causes for those idling problems. So if you have this issue with your engine, you'll know where to go, where to look, and where to address the problem. So bad idling problems can cause that lumpy tick over, it can cause stalling, and it can even cause problems when you start the engine. And in the worst case scenario, you also get warning lights flashing up on the dashboard. So there's clearly something wrong in the engine, but where do you start looking? Idling happens to keep the engine ticking over, but avoid stalling. So the engine is set up to use the minimum amount of RPMs it needs in order to do this. So in a modern engine, the throttle body controls the amount of air going in to the engine. So when the engine's idling, you're not controlling that. The car has to control that itself. So it will use the idle control valve, also known as the idle air control valve. And that just keeps the correct amount of air going into the engine to match the amount of fuel it's trying to burn to keep things ticking over. Over smoothly. The IAC effectively bypasses your throttle control and the engine is taking over that control itself. But where's it getting the information from? How is it making these calculations? Well, the ECU or the brain of the car is taking readings from sensors all around the car. So if it's having trouble idling, it could well be one of these sensors that's playing up. It's giving intermittently wrong signals to the ECU. So the ECU is panicking and throwing more air and fuel into the engine or cutting the air and fuel. And that's really what causes that rise and fall in the RPM. So when the engine is in a warm up cycle, it's more likely to stall. It's not running efficiently. The car will set a higher tick over in that warm up cycle. If you've got a lot of drain on the engine, for example, you've got the air conditioner on, the radio is absolutely blaring. You've had one of those massive speakers fitted in the back of the car. And also because the air conditioning is running, you've got the heater on as well. So there's a big drain going on in the engine. The alternator is trying to get as much current back into the battery as possible. So it's going to need to rise the RPMs to do that. It's gonna put more of a drag on the engine. The engine's working harder, so it needs to maintain a slightly higher tick over to keep everything running smoothly. So if you've noticed a rough idle, a high idle, or an erratic idle, or the car is prone to stall when you come up to a junction, for example, after you've lifted off the throttle, that can all indicate problems with the idling system of the car. So where do we start to look? Where are the typical problems associated with idle issues? So the IAC valve itself is a key component. If that's faulty, partially blocked, sticking, you're going to have problems with the idle circuit. And that's probably the first place you should look just to make sure that is operating efficiently. Pull off all of the error codes from the OBD2 diagnostic port because that'll give you a clue if the car's announcing an error somewhere. And that will particularly be the case if you're getting a warning light coming up on the dashboard. So check for errors and that might tell you which of the following systems is causing the problem. But in order to run smoothly, you've got the fuel system. So the injectors, the fuel pump, even the fuel filter, any issues in any of these can affect the car's ability to provide enough fuel to keep things ticking over smoothly. The ignition system itself, the spark plugs, the coils, the wires that feed that, if that's perhaps causing a misfire, that is going to affect the idle. So that will typically usually result in some kind of error code coming up on the OBD2 port. Vacuum leaks, everything inside the engine is really controlled with these rubber pipes that hold a vacuum. So the engine knows roughly what's going on. So those rubber pipes will degrade over time Rubber's never going to last forever. So as that happens, you're going to start to lose vacuum and that can cause these intermittent problems as the vacuum starts to leak out and then it seals itself and then it leaks out again, just depending on where you are in that pressure. The airflow sensor that's either measuring the air coming into the engine or the O2 sensor that's sniffing the exhaust gases to make sure everything is running efficiently. If they're giving wrong readings to the ECU, that's going to mess up its calculations and that's going to cause a problem with a smooth idle. The air filter, also if that's become clogged, if it's soiled, if it's struggling to pull enough air in at those low RPMs, that can cause you to have problems with the rough idle. You'll typically also notice a loss of power and a loss of response at other points in the RPM range. But certainly it's an easy check. Take off the filter box and just give the 
filter itself a visual inspection. You might be surprised how dirty or how clogged it is, especially if it's not been changed for a little while and you've been living in a particularly dusty environment. The air idle control valve, the throttle position sensors and the throttle valve can all contribute to a problem with an erratic idle. So hopefully in this video we've just highlighted some of the systems. You understand how the car idling system works. It was something you took for granted when you get in the car, but that little bit of knowledge now will help you to diagnose any faults much more quickly. So please boot the like button if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'll see you in this next video and don't forget to stay tuned.